الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد the beginning of Ramadan it is very important for us to identify the objective of fasting like we do at the beginning of any other task in our lives we want to know why exactly am I doing this uh, the quick answer to that question is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to do so and as believers we say سمعنا وطعنا we hear and we obey we do as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us but Allah azza wa jal has also clarified for us the wisdom behind fasting what is it that we are supposed to get out of fasting is it starvation is it is it uh, thirst no Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ so that you attain taqwa so ultimately the objective of our fast is to attain taqwa however this remains a very abstract concept for most people we're not clear did I get taqwa um, how do I measure that so there are certain things that we should be doing and other things that we should be avoiding so that we attain taqwa and that is by definition because a taqwa is uh, linguistically from al-wiqaya and, and so what it means which which is a shield or a prevention and, and what it means is that we're putting a barrier between ourselves and the displeasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, we don't want to do anything that would subject ourselves to his anger or to his punishment uh, at the same time we get there through sincere devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by obeying his commands and by intentionally avoiding any of those things which uh, would displease Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or those things that he has prohibited. And from the most succinct um, a hadith of the Prophet وسلم, on this particular topic is his statement, مَنْ لَمْ يَدَعْ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلَ بِهِ وَالْجَهَلِ فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَ أَنْ يَتْرُقَ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ Whoever does not leave off false speech and act evil actions and al-jahl which is from al-jahala which means to act foolishly so one may act evil and then there are, are things that people do that are just foolish and without discretion all of that needs to be left during the fast the prophet like said whoever does not leave off uh those things then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no need for him to leave off his food and his drink so uh, the, it is clear here from this hadith of the Prophet وسلم, that the objective of fasting is not simply to leave off food and drink. That's the definition of fasting. Right. You're going to leave off food and drink. You're going to leave off uh, sexual intercourse uh, during the uh, from Fajr till Maghrib. That's the definition of fasting. However, that is not the objective of fasting. So notice here that the Prophet وسلم, says whoever does not leave off false speech lying this the scholars have deduced from this particular uh, hadith that whoever lies during the daytime of ramadan then he is not rewarded for the fast ibn battal rahimahullah ta'ala mentions this in his explanation of sahih bukhari which is an interesting fact because the prophet والسلام, in another hadith he mentions that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that all of the deeds of the son of adam are multiplied 10 to 700 times Except for fasting, for in the wa ana Except for fasting, it is for me, and I will reward for it. So Allah subhanahu wa taala is mentioning that the reward for fast may be far greater than seven hundred times what a person has done. All of that can be wiped away with a little white lie, which we don't have in Islam anyway. It, it, it's a lie. There's no little white lies, and so it's very important that we watch what we say during the daytime of Ramadan. And this is should be easy for us because we all recognize, we're very self-conscious in Ramadan. We recognize that the odor in our mouths have changed. It's it's not what it was. It's not pleasant. Uh, it, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is more pleasant than the smell of musk. But to the rest of the creation, it's not. And so we're very self-conscious. We should be of fewer words. We should be thinking more about what we're saying, being conscious of what we're saying and this is in fact subhanallah indicative of taqwa because one of the ways that taqwa is often translated is god consciousness and so the fact that now we are being more conscious about what we say being more conscious about what we do making sure that it is pleasing to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then inshallah this will help us on our path of attaining 
taqwa. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from amongst the muttaqeen and to forgive us our sins and to make us from the maghfureen, the forgiven, in this great month of Ramadan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.